Guido, ce n'hai un po' per me. Something about money that always fascinates me. You see, there's a good side to everything, even war. It didn't look so good to you when you left the States with the army with Ingravio. Huh? You never were subtle, Nick. Guido, did you make the delivery? You know, someday you're gonna have enough money to buy Miami? What would this dummy do in Miami they can't do here? I told you, don't call him dummy. He can't talk, but he can hear. Let him go, Guido. He'd like to shoot my head off, but he won't. Don't push your luck. You're dumb, Nick, but you're not that dumb. You lose me, you lose this. Before I came, you weren't making a tenth of this. You didn't even have an organization. Oh, we were doing all right. All right! You were losing men every time you hit a truck. And you had no front. You had a mob. We get investigated, what happens? Nothing. They find a reputable business. Just accept what you were born with, Nick. A talent for killing. But no brains. If I hadn't come along, you'd just be another name on a tombstone. So don't let your mouth run away with you. And lay off Guido. He's my lucky charm. Jason, we got a problem. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right. I'll take care of it. Man, pretty? Your share. Thank you, Jason. How's the family? Fine, fine. Ben Freddy. What's the matter with you? He was going to squeal, Nick. He was going to make a deal with the army. Manfredi was a good man. That's the difference between us, Nick. You wouldn't believe it. Get rid of him. I fished him out of the river this morning. They play rough. Keep it in mind. Yeah. Manfredi able to give you anything at all? No. He was supposed to call us and set up a meet. Evidently, they found out what he was up to. We've had black market smuggling rings before, but nothing like this. Sorry, I can't give you more to run with. Good luck, Lieutenant. Yeah, thanks. Black market. So what's the big deal? I mean, what are they peddling? Uh, silk stockings and cigarettes? Not this one. It's king size. They've been hitting our trucks on the way to the front. Weapons, ammunition, gasoline, medical supplies. And it all ends up in the hands of the Germans. And we got to find the guys who are doing it, right? Find them, find out how they operate, how they smuggle the supplies through the lines. And how to stop them. Oh, but that's easy. I mean, the job's almost done. Any leads? No. Then where do we start? You're going into the hijack business. You create some competition, right? Right. So we hit up a few trucks. Mob finds out. They come roaring out of the woodwork. And they blow our heads off. It's a great way to make a contact. 
Uh, how come the army ain't in on this? Well, they've tried, but they've got other problems. Like what? Like fighting a war. <laughs> what happens after we hit the truck? Here's the address of a waterfront bar. We know some black market merchandise has been passing through there. Not any big stuff, but it might be a lead, so try there first. Well, uh, what about you? Aren't you coming along? No, I'm afraid not. We know they've got men on the inside. They know every move the army makes. That'd be too easy to trace. But once you make contact with them, get in touch with me. The drivers in these trucks, they're not in on it? No. And what if they put up a fight? We just see to it they don't. All right? It's all yours. Good luck. Welcome to sunny Italy. Like drinking casino? Sure. There. Hey. Gina. My name is Gina. Yeah, well, all right, Gina. How about a little change? I'm sorry, Signore. It's a my mistake. I forget. Yeah, yeah, you forget. The second time you forget. That's a bit of a Hey, Chiquita. Bring me a little bit of the hard stuff, huh? A bottle. Ba, 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 ba. So that. Jason? Yeah? We got competition. What? Four men. They hit a supply truck this afternoon, smooth as silk. I don't like it. None of the local boys had had the nerve to muscle in on us. I agree. And I don't think it was a lucky hit. I think they had inside information. Well, they'll have to try peddling the stuff. I'll get the boys on it as soon as they come back. Did you change, senor? No, no, that's all right. You keep it, Gina. Thank you, senore. It's my pleasure. Besides, there's a lot more where that comes from. What are you going to do? Have the boys check out all the likely places. And call me as soon as you get a lead. No. 
questo qua, Danny Bates, sai, mi ci ho visto. Ah, Gina! So that's what I mean. I was talking to myself as St. Charlie. Because <laughs> that's me, see, that's Charlie. Charlie, baby, you're in the army. I mean, that's it. No getting out. So you gotta use your head, right? I mean, what are you gonna do? You think of an angle. If you're a smart guy, see? I mean, a really smart guy always comes up with an angle. Did you find the angle? Did I find an angle? Oh, uh, baby, are you kidding? <laughs> Did I find an angle? <laughs> I tell you. Oh, hey. uh, bartender, come here. Come over here, amigo. Listen, Fred, huh? How about getting me some of the good stuff? It's the very best, as in your. No, come on, now. don't don't con me. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I I mean I want some of that really good stuff you got under the counter, right? No, signore, it's the very best. You know, the war... And you know, I believe you, baby. Huh? I mean, you're not kidding me. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, I like you. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna get you some of the really good stuff. Huh? Uh, how much can you get? How much do you want? Uh, might be a whole case? A case? <laughs> a case? I'll give you a case, amigo. <laughs> come on, let's hey, get out of here. buddy! Hey, this is my partner. Hey, come on, we're having a good time. I said we're getting out of here. Hey, well, now, uh, hold on there. I'm just trying to make a deal here. Yeah? I'm just oh, trying to get out of stuff. My friend had a little too much to drink. He doesn't know what he's talking about. My, he was told me... I said he doesn't know what he's talking about. Come on. Yeah. Guess I had a little too much vino, huh? Okay. Uh, uh, easy, easy. Hey, the drinks are off me. You got so bad, boss. A few drinks, I was in there, sitting there with that. Did you see that? You had the belt, man. Do you think it worked? It worked. We were followed. Here they come. Right on time. <laughs> come in, gentlemen. It didn't take you long to get here. And it's not going to take me long to do what I came for. Oh, come now. Killing us would be a very stupid move. Not from where I'm standing. You made the stupid move when you hit that truck. It's obvious I'm talking to the hired help. I want the head man. You do, huh? You're going to be floating in the bay. Nick! Put it away. These gentlemen have very cleverly arranged a meeting. Let's find Thank out why. Thank you. They call me actor. Ganif Casino. I'm Jason. A nice haul you made. It'll do for a start. Start? Well, we had... Uh, our own plans for that shipment. Oh, no. Jason. Uh, Jason, you know better than that. In this business, it's first come, first served. Which brings us to the point of this meeting. Correct. It's a very lucrative business you have hitting those trucks. Yes, we make a nice profit. However, a bigger split I'm not interested in. With a larger organization, you could handle twice the merchandise. And take twice the risks. Thanks. But uh, things are quite comfortable, just the way they are. It won't be that way for long. Anybody else you can get rid of, but we're not amateurs. I think you're aware of that by now. 
Meaning? Meaning we don't intend to pull out. And the last thing either of us wants is war. We'll be so busy killing each other, no one will win. I give the orders. Agreed? Wait a minute. Shut up. We can take him right now. Can we? There are four of them, remember? You see, only three. Now, where could the other one be? Chief? Meet Chief. Now, what about that truck? Let's call it our initiation fee. What do you want us to deliver it? Guido takes care of that. You know the Angelo Winery? Down at the wharf? Yeah, I know the building. Meet us there. Okay. Now, I, I've gone along with you so far, but... But this is crazy. You, you are buying trouble. You never can see farther than where you're standing, can you, Nick? Those guys might be syndicate. That kind of trouble we don't want to buy. Now, until we find out more about them, they're in. And what if they're not syndicate? Huh? Then they're out. Let me handle this, will you, Nick? Sit down. As you can see, a legitimate winery. We make it, bottle it, deliver it. We keep a detailed set of books. That way, if the army investigates us, they find only what we want them to find. Good cover. Hello? It's been taken care of. I'll explain it to you later. When? Time is good. We got a hit tomorrow. You'll go along. Get one thing straight. On the job, I am the boss. You take orders from me. Is that a fact? On the job or off the job, the only boss you have is me. Now, you'll be given a detailed plan of the whole operation. You follow it exactly. Clear? Sweat, Sarge, just a flat tire.
know what's in that truck? Yeah, I know. Plasma. Now keep your mouth shut. We need that plasma up the front. <laughs> now you won't have to tie him up. Are you out of your mind? He had a big mouth and I don't like that. That was mouth. stupid, like killing a cop. Completely unnecessary. You keep this up and they'll start hauling that stuff in armored cars. You got a big mouth too, huh? You've just seen what happened to one big mouth. You just learned when to use that thing. I know when to use it. Right, Nick. Only an amateur kills when he doesn't have to. Now, that's the last time I'm going to tell you. Who are you going to believe? These guys or me? All right. Let's drop it. What about that truck we left sitting out there? We ain't seen it since. My guess is that Quill is making the delivery right now. Hmm? That's a good guess. What I want to know is where it's being delivered. You do, huh? Yes, I do. What if something happens to Guido? You let me worry about that. Look, let's get one thing straight. What Nick did today was stupid, but that doesn't put you any higher in the totem pole. Now, you got any ideas about finding out who my buyers are and making private deals, you forget it. You were brought in to help on the hits, that's all. Where that stuff goes is none of your business. You don't like it. You're out. Hello. Where? Okay, thanks. Well, maybe you guys are bringing me luck. We got another hit. Big one. Pure morphine. Where? I'll let you know. Then one of them just shot him, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Nick Zappa killer. You saw some of his handiwork back on the road. There was nothing we could do. Grazie. Grazie mille. There's five more in the gang. All local talent. Jason definitely gets his information from an inside man. We haven't been able to find out who. And it's the same story on where the goods go. Only Jason and a mute called Guido know where the stuff is taken after it's been hit. What do you think? We gotta hang in there and wait for a break. We're going to make a hit soon. We'll try and find out more then. You know where it's gonna be? No. Nope. We never know until we get there. Thank you. 
should be inside by now. You hope. Those doors wide open. guy in the back of that warehouse almost nailed him. The hero here saved your, your good luck charm. You'd have left him, wouldn't you? Yes, I would have left him there. You could have got us all killed back there for, for him. Now shut up, both of you. No more shut ups. I'm not one of these spunks. You don't talk to me like that. Nick, look, we got enough problems with that stuff in here. We don't need any more. Now just take it easy. And what are we going to do with the truck? I don't know. It's not that easy to make a contact. Jason. You shouldn't have called me here, Jason. I know, I know. Guido's been hurt and he couldn't make the delivery. Is he all right? Yeah, he's okay. So what'd you do with the truck? Well, it's here at the winery. 
You'll have to hold on to it. How long? I'll try and arrange for another rendezvous in two days. Well, I don't want that stuff hanging around here that long. All right, all right. I'll set it up as soon as I can. First word I get, I'll call you. See you do it without a gun for a change. All right with you? take a few days before another rendezvous can be set up. So it worked. He's lost Guido and it shook him up. This might be the break we've been looking for. We squeeze hard while he's got that load of hot drugs on his hands. He might be in a market for another buyer. He's not much of a listener. If he's scared enough and the price is right, he'll listen. Is this? That's not important right now. Let's just say it's a buyer who knows you're sitting on a load of hot merchandise. You're mistaken. I'm in the wine business. Well, now, you weren't in the wine business yesterday when he knocked over their warehouse. All right, spell it out. What do you want? The merchandise. I want to buy it. I know you got a regular buyer. I'll beat his price. You can't. Look, what do you got to lose? I'll talk, you listen. But not over the phone. Have you got a name yet? You like Smith? All right, Smith. I'll listen. Where? 12 Via Cadroni, room three. As soon as you can. Stay here so they don't get suspicious.
Jason. Come on in. behind you. A loner like you doesn't barge in with that kind of information and that kind of money. Now, who's your backer? What are you worried about? Your regular buyer? Don't. We'll take care of that. You just tell me where and when you make the next delivery. And we'll take it from there. You will. like a hijack. We get the goods, you get the dough. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. It's too risky. You know, these people aren't amateurs. Jason, it'll be a lot more risky if you don't go along with it. We're not amateurs either. Well, I tell you, he's syndicate. I can smell him a mile away. He wasn't asking me, he was telling me. Guido, me, he knows. Now, if I don't go along with him, I end up with a cement coat. You know if those guys want to move in, nobody can stop them. Besides, at least this way, we get to keep the money, right? Well, he wants an answer. I'm going to give it to him. Hello. Look, I've been thinking about what you said. I'm willing to go along, but you've got to make sure that... Call you back. Hello. Jason. Hello. Guido, what's wrong? Hey, look, no, nothing's changed. I'm still going to take care of you. No. I am going to take care of you, Jason. You are no longer of any use to us. Who's us? Come now, Jason. You knew you were selling to the Germans. Do you think it was your cleverness that got you into this organization? It was all arranged. Guido. has been a change in plans. I don't understand. Jason was going to double-cross us. I was forced to kill him. What happens now? I want you to arrange for our men to make the final pickup here at the winery. Final? For the time being. We will start up again later. But for now, it is best that this present cooperation be dissolved. I understand. But isn't it dangerous making a pickup there? No. It would be more dangerous elsewhere. Jason was going to sell us out to a man from the syndicate. He goes by the name of Smith. 12 Via Coldroni, room 3. Take care of him. Personally. All right, sir.
There has been a change in plans. <laughs> yes, I can speak. It was convenient to assume the role of a mute, but now that is all over. Who are you? I am Colonel Eric Hoffman. You're a crowd. I am German. Where is Jason? He is dead. I had to kill him. He was going to double-cross us. Outside of his death, there will be no major changes. Is that right? Except one... That was absolutely necessary. Nick was not only stupid, but dangerous. We will be much better off without him. Now, there is no reason why business should not go on as usual. You will still deal with the same buyer. A bit more directly than before. All this merchandise will be picked up soon. Unload the truck and get rid of it. And the body. about us? I don't know. We'll just play along right now. They wouldn't. How about telling these folks we're the good guys? Okay, Corporal, let him go. These are my men. Your timing was absolutely perfect, Warden. But the entrance, a little bit too dramatic, don't you think? Well, I don't know. I could have waited a little longer. Come on, let's go. 